<clears throat> I think that you're just going to see more and more deranged crap out of these people on the left. They keep on saying the same crap, and they keep on calling Trump a fascist. That's so crazy how Trump is a huge fascist. Well, you got the rest of the world who's about to go into World War III submitting to Trump. And they want to still, like seriously, Trump can correct all of our problems, even the problems that the left has for sure. He can correct all that. He can come up with a cure for HIV, cancer, <clears throat> anything else, the epidemic of uh, Trump, Trump derangement syndrome. He can fix everything. And they're still going to hate Trump no matter what. These people need to be rejected. These people need to be treated as they are. These people are the scum of society. Democrats who actually have a brain in their head need to reject the woke, the DI crap, all of this stuff rejected. Like I said, if you want to try to compete with the Republicans, because I guarantee you what the Republicans are about to give the American people the Democrats are going to be in awe. The Democrats are nobody's going to vote for Democrats no more. And that's not good. Right now it's good. The Democrats need to be, the Democrats just got humiliated and they need to get humiliated again in the next election. Um, the midterms. And I think that they will because we have an amazing, uh, coalition of leaders in the government that's about to take over in a couple months um, who I think are just going to do amazing things for our country just like you know dude when I go to work I just like what's the, what's the point man like the, and that's how that's how the young men feel the young men feel in this in this country nobody gives a fuck about them what's their right Nobody listens to them. Nobody cares about what they have to say. Nobody cares about what they're going through. And they have spoken. They won. This is a huge win. And you're going to continue to see these deranged people on the left keep acting out, especially on their social media. Um, because they're getting views, they're getting likes, they're getting, you know, they're getting interaction. And and that and that's what it, a lot of this is is it's social media. Um, a lot of this derangement is being propped up by social media. Not everyone should be a prominent figure on social media. You know, not everyone should. Um, I'm not saying you can have everyone should have their voice if they want, but understand like there's consequences. And <clears throat> a lot of these women out here on the left completely delusional they don't live in reality they don't understand like what are they taking from us <clears throat> they're protesting they're saying they're not going to like <clears throat> put out to men anymore well a lot of men in my position you're not putting out to us anyway you're not even giving us any attention so it's just like what are you threatening you're not you're not going to be out here sleeping around you might actually like uh, care about your body you might actually care about who's who you're allowing to go in your body who could be like giving you like STDs um, yeah yeah who are doing all that crap you don't care like seriously like that's all there th you're withholding sex from people you've been holding with sex from anyway you think, like, we give a shit? We don't give a fuck, man. Um, the next generation of young men, which I'm sure that some are participating in the hookup culture, <clears throat> I'm thinking, they're, they're conservative. They want to have a wife and a girl, uh, 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 no, and a girlfriend. They want to have a wife, and they want to have a family. Current Gen Z women don't want that. They want to be party animals. They want to be promiscuous. They don't want to have family. They're not mother material. 
and I've said this thousands of times, they're not mother material, especially the leftists. They might be fun, you know, when having them in the sack or whatever, but how long does that last? How long does that, I think that they don't, you know what I think? I think they don't know what it's like to have somebody that actually, like have a man that actually cares about them. And that's why I always go back to the, the father figure. A lot of these women don't have a, a father figure that actually gives a shit about them. They might pretend, they might act like it, but they're not really there. They don't really trust them. Um, they don't always keep their word. They're like, they're a little, they're flimsy. And yes, we have a huge epidemic with women who are being raised like shit. Same with men. Men are being raised like shit too. And this needs to change. This needs to change. And I think that Trump getting in there is it, it makes me very optimistic about the future. It makes me think when I go to work, like I'm actually building towards something. Maybe I'm actually, instead of just like giving my money away just so I can survive, like I go to work, make money, and then it's all gone to everybody else. I can't save nothing. I can't put nothing towards my future. And that's like me personally. I'm gonna get myself out of this, but like, this is how the young men feel. This is how they feel. They don't. They don't feel like nobody. Like nobody gives a damn. Young men. Like, it's always been like this, except for now. They work hard. They do. They they overcome like extreme obstacles for their family, for their kids, for their wife. That's how this. Some of the most beautiful creations have been made in this world. Um. By wanting to have access to women. Or if you have access to your woman, to take care of her, to take care of your family, to provide and protect. Women would rather, like nowadays, they would if they want to have a kid, they don't want to raise it. They don't want much to do with it. They just want to go ahead and have the kid for social status, pawn it off to daycare, whoever else will take care of it. Set, like I've dealt with single moms before I need a break you don't get breaks from being a mom and a dad dude like when you do this this is why I don't think everyone should have kids when you take on that responsibility it's a non-stop everyday responsibility of raising kids you don't get a break there's no breaks of being a parent Especially like when your kids are not independent. There's no breaks. Now, should this happen? Should both parents work and then and the mom has to come home and take care of everything? No. No. But if you're a stay-at-home mom and your man makes all the money, he shouldn't have to lift a finger. I mean, he should interact with his kids and, you know, teach his kids and enact discipline when it needs to be but why the hell should he have to clean up anything when he gets home I'm not saying he can't help out with the kid duties and, sh and stuff like that like change the diapers and give the kids a bath yes man he can help out but there's a lot of women that just they don't want to do anything they just want everything handed to them it's because it's always been like that. They've always had everything handed to them. They haven't had to work for anything. They haven't had to face any consequences. They haven't had any uh, uh, to face responsibility, like consequences of their like their actions. The whole point of abortion is to be able to to have power over men, and that's what it is. 
You don't have to have sex. You can keep your legs closed. And in fact, the ones that are saying that, that that's exactly what the conservatives want anyway. They don't want you out here uh, uh, spreading diseases, hulking up, being degenerate. But, I mean, if that's how you want to live, that's how you want to live. Just like as long as you ain't hurting anybody else and you have con consenting adults, then who cares? It doesn't matter. You live your life how you want. But the more men that you allow to be intimate with you, the less of a chance you will be able to bond with a man. I think that a woman's first love is that's when she really feels love. After that, it becomes a transitional love, a transactional love. So like whoever broke her heart, she really loved that person. She would ride or die for that person. He he gets he, he gets a job. He loses his job. She's gonna stick behind it by his side because she actually loves him. Um, but like the after the first love, like all bets are lost off at that point and understanding like what your role is and that's why I don't want to mess with single moms because I know like I have no authority and all the responsibility oh I have to do this and that and that but I can't say this or this or that no so that's that's why like it's it's horrible this is what it is I see a lot of people like starting to abandon their family. If that's what you need to do, abandon your family. Some people, you know, I don't like to allow people around me that's going to go ahead and uh, be an anchor. I don't need people dragging me down or doing any of that crap. Uh, it's hard enough for me not to drag myself down. I don't need anybody else doing it. So I don't want people in my life that are going to drag me down. I can't have that. I can't. People make too much of an impression on me. So, like, yeah, if you have to get rid of your family because they're just being toxic, then that's what you got to do. But you're going to get rid of your family because their wallets are thin and they see what the Democrats have done and the Democrats don't care about them. And then you want to go ahead and be like, I, I, how many of these women, like, depend on, on their parents for resources? I bet you there's a lot of women. You know what the funny thing is when these women out here say, oh, I'm a strong, independent woman, and they're receiving welfare. Or they're receiving money from their, their parents, their dad's paying for all their shit. Oh, I'm a strong, independent. You're not a strong, independent woman unless you're out here earning your own keep, paying your own bills, not being a, 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 a government leech. You're not a strong, independent woman. You're a leech. Um, society has to change. It has to. Or it's, it's going to collapse. Um, what we have currently is not sustainable. And I think that with the Trump leadership, he's obviously not going to... He's going to be able to make an environment where we can actually want to have a family. We actually want to have kids. We actually, you know, possibly want to, like, get married. Like, marriage isn't dating, man. Like, people need to take that shit more serious. I have never gotten remarried. I almost was about to when I was stupid and I wasn't, I wasn't thinking right. But people need to take it serious, man. And understand, like... If you keep on getting divorces, you still you have a higher and higher chance of getting a divorce. So that's 